Yeah, you hit on something here that is uh, very significant. And now we're we're in a world of we're not even talking about uh, reducing costs. We're talking about business sustainability. If if you're a contractor that needs a mod, a work comp experience mod of 1.0 or below, uh, with some of your general contractors or owners, or if you do municipality work or other type of government work, and your mod ticks up above a one, it could your business could literally be in peril. So it's, and look, I don't necessarily agree with those folks that say, you're, I'm going to use your mod as a bid qualif qualifier, but it doesn't matter. They didn't ask my opinion. And that's what the reality is. So with respect to how do we keep it below a one, um, to your point, let's hire people that are fit for the job. I know that's hard. That is difficult. Finding talent is always like one of the top of the top five uh, challenges employers face. Finding good talent is, is up there. Uh, so we know it's difficult, but if we hire people not fit for the job, it's not a matter of if they're going to get hurt, but when. Mm -hmm. And and then things just go uh, out of control. Um, get great medical care, as you mentioned. You know, let's vet these these medical providers. Not that we're going to tell them how to practice medicine, but you could tell right away uh, that uh, that wasn't somebody you wanted your clients uh, going to. And having conversations with folks about, tell me about your philosophy, your approach. You want to work with doctors that don't go right immediately to narcotics and opioids and alike and, and, and take care of the injured employee by helping them identify where's the best place to go. Communication, that frontline supervisor is so critical. We, we've got, they don't know how important they are. The injured employee looks to them and goes, hey, uh, you know, I'm your guy, I'm hurt. How about talking to me? You know, staying in touch and letting some of my fear go away because injured employees don't know about this system. They want somebody to just say, it's going to be okay. I got your back. I'm, gonna, I'm here. You need a ride. You need something picked up at the store. I'll, I'll take care of you. I'm here. I'm going to work with you on this. We're going to get you back. We're going to get you back to your normal life. And, and we're going to make this disruption just as least as effective on you and your family as possible. Thank you